This video is going to be showing our new super mount. This mount allows you to add lenses to the Hero 3 cameras that typically will not work with the stock lens mount. This is what the super mount looks like. As compared to the stock Hero 3 Black Plus lens mount. This is a typical stock Hero 3 Black Plus lens installed into a stock lens mount. The stock lens mount is really good for installing lots of lenses. The 3 Plus Black and the 3 Plus Silver lens mount having slightly more threads closer to the last lens element. And what that allows is for certain lenses that have really long back focal lengths like the super popular 5.4 millimeter 10 megapixel f2.5 lens. This lens only works in the stock 3 plus mounts whether it's the black or silver so we wanted to allow our customers to be able to thread lenses like this that only worked in lens mounts that had threading just slightly higher in all their cameras. So for instance, we've installed super mounts into a Hero 3 White and installed a 5.4 millimeter 10 megapixel, a Hero 3 Silver, And keep in mind, the stock lens mounts do not allow you to install this particular lens. A 54 millimeter, 10 megapixel lens is not able to be installed on the stock lens mounts in the non-plus cameras. White and silver, non-plus cameras. Of course, as mentioned, the 5.4 definitely works in the stock Black 3 Plus camera. And what we're going to demonstrate for you today is how to take a Hero 3 Black. This is a stock camera, stock lens. And we're going to take this lens out and we're going to install a super mount so that you can put the 5.4 in there. Okay, let's get started. I'm using a small flathead screwdriver to carefully pry the top cover off. There are a few tabs all the way around. Nothing that you can damage. Uh, though, of course, make sure near the LCD that you don't go under it and lift that up. But once all the tabs are up, you should be able to pop it off. There on the Hero 3 Black, there are four T4 Torx screws along the corners. On the 3 Plus Black, there are four Phillips screws. Next, we're going to pry the ports off of the side plate here. So you want to use your fingernail or another flat object and put it in the hole here. Pull it away while pulling the main part of the body. Once you see the ports go up a little bit, you're good, you're clear. Just wiggle it back and forth. On the 3 Black, there are no cables connecting the circuit board to the body. On the 3 Plus, there definitely is. You 
using a small Phillips. To take the one screw out there. Fingernail works is remove the clip. You can use the same Phillips to pull the ribbon cable out. We need to pull the heat transfer tape off entirely to the front piece, like so. Four more torque screws holding the circuit board on. Depending on what model you're taking out, you may or may not uh, want to pull the sensor completely off. On the white camera, Hero 3, there's a soldered connector, definitely don't want to pull that off. Uh, on the silver and the black and the black 3, 3, 3 plus black and silvers, you uh, can take it off if you want, or just leave it hanging like that. Um, once you've got that, there's some thermal paste that connects the circuit board to the front of the camera in between them. So you really just want to grab here and the front faceplate, just give it a good little wiggle and up it pops. Remember the, cir the circuit or the uh, sensor is still attached, so keep that uh, in mind as you're pulling and separating it. There's a thermal paste, thermal paste up. This is the lens mount, stock here, three black lens mount, three more Phillips screws, and we've got it out. I do want to let everybody know that's watching this that this is how we modify every single camera that we sell. You may have seen our other video about how to take the lens out from the top side by taking this plastic ring off. On the 3 Plus cameras you can take that plastic ring off and grab onto the lens and untwist it out. On all of the non-plus cameras you have the process that I'm showing here, which is take it out like this. Okay, now that you have the front faceplate, you're going to take the super mount and just like the stock lens mount, it only goes in one way. It forms a Y and only installs in one direction. So you're just going to place it on there and reverse assembly. Camera sensor fits perfectly in the super mount bottom. Using the four screws again, T4 torque screws, attaching the lens mount.
Okay. It's reattaching ribbon there. And then reinstalling the four screws. and putting the front face plate back on. Okay, so that was uh, installing a super mount into a Hero 3 Black. The stock lens and lens mount. And now we want to install the 5.4 millimeter, which normally cannot be installed into the Hero 3 Black. And you're just going to find the threads. Make sure it goes in straight. Again, pretty much every single lens of ours has metal threads. And all of these lens mounts are plastic, both the GoPro lens mounts and our lens mount, the Super Mount. For this demonstration, we're going to use an LCD backpack. Typically, we use a large HD monitor. And you typically know when it's going to be close to being in focus when your fingers can't grip it very well. And then you can carefully use some metal pliers. Looks pretty good. Like I said, you're going to want to use an HD monitor to make sure you've really got the focus on there. And you can also going to want to take some shots of it and do some testing. Okay, so that's how to install a super mount from Poe Productions into a Hero 3 camera. As I showed before, we've got the white, the silver, and the black, all three non-plus cameras. All three cameras not originally able to support lenses that have large back focal lengths like the 5.4 millimeter 10 megapixel lens. GP54025 on our site. And they're installed and it works perfect.